The ethics investigation into U.S. Attorney Rachel Rollins is now out. The reports lay out a series of violations, including leaking sensitive information to the press in the hopes of swaying an election. Rollins announced yesterday she was resigning. Good afternoon. Thanks for being with us. I'm Paula Evan, joined by WBZ political analyst John Keller. So, John, there's a lot in this report. Yeah, actually, Paula, two separate reports by two government watchdogs with overlapping conclusions. And we were speculating yesterday this must have been serious to prompt Rollins's quick uh, resignation. Boy, we now have confirmation of that. The most damning finding that Rollins illegally leaked private information about cases involving Suffolk County DA Kevin Hayden in an effort to help his primary challenger last fall, Ricardo Arroyo. Rollins then lied about her role in those leaks under oath during an interview with the Office of the Inspector General. In a previously reported case, the IG found Rollins violated federal guidelines by attending and participating in a Democratic Party fundraiser featuring First Lady Lady Jill Biden, another misuse of her office, arranging to get 30 free Celtics tickets worth nearly 2,500 bucks for young athletes, then taking two for herself. And the IG says Rollins, quote, used poor judgment in public comments about cases by attending other political events and misusing her personal cell phone. The report's conclusion, Rollins's conduct, quote, violated federal regulations, numerous DOJ policies, her ethics agreement, and applicable law, and fell far short of the standards of professionalism and judgment that the department should expect of any employee, much less a U.S. attorney, end quote. Serious business, Paula. Yeah. As you say, John, it's quite a list. And we have here an experienced lawyer and politician. So how do you think she could run so far afoul of the rules? Yeah, that's, a, that's the big question, isn't it? We'll learn more about that if and when Rollins speaks publicly, of course. These types of activities, leaking to the press, playing political games, certainly not uncommon within political circles. But there are certain positions where it's understood and spelled out in the rules of conduct that you can't do that kind of thing and U.S. attorney is one of those jobs. John Keller, thank you so much that we're still reading through the report and working right now to get reaction from some of the people involved. So stay with WBZ and CBS News Boston throughout the day for updates. Download the free WBZ app to watch us anytime.